Hello and welcome to the Cobalt Cafe. Today we're playing Upsilon Transcending in GURPS 4th edition. I am Luke, the GM, and we have got Lee. Oh, and it's not picking up Lee. <laughs> Damn it. Now, oh, no. it's, now it's picking up Lee. <laughs> Hi, I'm Lee. I play Audrey slash Violet, Violet tonight, and she's on the deck brooding. Get brooding. Who are you, Angel? Uh, we've got Everoth. Hello, I am Everoth. Playing for you today, 2D Lucius, who is just on his usual pad of trying to figure things out without more heads exploding. Good luck. We've got Colin. Hi, I'm Colin. I play Geeg, codenamed Spectre, and he just uh, convinced the guy to make his own head explode. Yeah, you did. We've got Z Warrior. Hey, I'm Z Warrior. I play Myos the Voice. And I'm looking forward to seeing more heads explode. Mm hmm. Yeah, me too. We've got Tara. Hey, I'm Tara. I play Lily, and she is hiding under a bed that is currently moving, or hiding under bed covers that are currently floating all around her. Yeah, it's hard to get comfortable when you're moving with the waves, such. When you're used to perfect motionlessness. Uh, we've got James. Hey, I'm James. I play Sigrid the Berserker. The Berserker. And I think she's currently wiping the tears off, off of her face from laughing so hard yeah. once the dude had exploded. Still hilarious. Still recovering from that. And finally, we've got Jared. Hey, I'm Jared. I'm playing Matthias Oberlin. Code name Orion. Um, he's kind of a bit worried that um, Hans, are we the baddies? <laughs> uh, no, you, you're pretty confident this guy's a Nazi. Yeah, but you still mean get to ask yourself that. Too. <laughs> no, probably not. No, or not. and by we. You mean Myas. And Sigrid and Guy? Probably Lucius. Definitely what did he Audrey. do? Everything. Well, so, to catch us up to this situation, uh, you were assaulting a research vessel, quote, quote. It had lots of people with guns on board. It also had a weird lab where it seemed like a demon had just been summoned. He had a big, fancy, glowy, red-hot whip chain that he used to cut the boat in fucking half. Yeah, that was certainly unexpected. You, he swiftly disappeared. Just before he did, though, uh, a few of you caught a glimpse of a faceless man wearing glasses and a shirt and tie. And it made Lily freak the fuck out and start bleeding, apparently. Although I'm not sure if anyone knows that other than Lily. Uh, when the helmet came off, there was giant, all kinds of blood covering her face, so... Yeah. Sigrid was too busy with the killing of all the other guys that she has no idea what happened in that room. There was an awful lot of other blood. Yeah, yeah, a lot of shit went down. Um... Just before the but demon got summoned, you did notice, like, medical tables with just viscera, guts, mangled skeletons laid on them. What were you saying, Lily? All I was saying is that my helmet was on, though, but again, it wasn't matter. I was just putting that information out there. Cool. Good point. You, you posed. Matthias and Audrey were already dressed... Or Matthias and Violet, sorry, were already dressed as guards, uh, soldiers. Uh, Ryan and Violet. Ryan and Violet, whatever. <laughs> sorry, Matthias. Uh, Violet was looking like a guard, but she was using her power to do that. Rather than clothes. <laughs> and you snuck 
to a lifeboat with the guy who seemed to be in charge of the demon summoning operation. Snuck back to the boat with his friend. You thought about neck bombs, checked him out. Turns out German guy has got one, but his is deactivated. Other guy is very much not deactivated, as can be seen in the evidence. Yeah, clones of the Alpha Chumps. And that catches us up. I think it's probably about 2 a.m. Uh, you may be an hour away from shore still. I don't know how fast this boat goes. But I think you've uh, it'd been. So, so the, the answer is we, we were able to travel two hours to try to get there. So it's going to take two hours to get back. Thank you. <laughs> I'll uh, radio the, the Yakuza on the way and let them know it's mm. more of a recovery operation for survivors from the sinking of a ship i believe you already did that didn't you did i i guess i did yeah, yeah i think you did i think you were working on that when uh lily was retrieving the rest of us mm -hmm. so they are apparently on the way right now is what they responded This guy is beat yeah. to shit. You've been beating the shit out of him. Lily started it. <laughs> and then you've all had a very go. Very uncharacteristically. Yeah, very uncharacteristically. Matthias will switch back to German for a moment. Would you summon a demon again? If you could? No. It's not what I was trying to do. It's not what the machine was designed to do. It's just what happened. What was it designed to do? I won't tell you. You won't tell us what the machine was designed to do? But he says it wasn't designed to summon demons. If only we had someone who could possess and mind read people. Um, I am. We should Sorry. over to staff. Um, he, he could have useful information that could help with foiling the attack. I'll be right back. Matthias going to take a leak off the bow. He's going to talk to Audrey, but um, Lucius was saying something. Okay. Uh, yeah, out of character. I'm not sure if you guys want me to try that because he looks like a very smart person. And remember, the smarter they are, the harder it is. I believe you already tried back in the lab, didn't you? No. On him, no. Oh, okay. That was the captain. Ah. Uh, yes. Uh, he wanted so, to be the captain now. <laughs> so if Lucius does sort of look at the group in a sort of should I manner, Audrey is actively trying to catch his eye right now. Uh, well, she's looking at you kind of like a... Shakes her head now. He nuts and then just lights up a cigarette. And then she looks to her left. Can we go outside and talk? Sure. He'll follow up. What? He'll follow you guys up. Uh, <laughs> no, I also wanted to talk to... I think... Mantis will look at Lucius and be like, Bro. Please don't oh. kill him. Oh, we'll know. I think he is sitting at the helm. Just somebody should. It's got autopilot. So there's the obvious helm upstairs, but there's also one there. That's fine. Yeah, I think, I think probably when you're docking and what have you, you want to be at that one. But for the most part, you can just sit there and press a button and it'll point at a heading and drive at the speed you tell it to. 
Actually, why don't you guys clean that shit up? Yeah, okay. Uh, there is something that a few of you will think is very interesting. Has anyone got current affair, like, technology, gadgety stuff? Uh, Sigrid totally has that. She yes. fucking mouth, Sigrid. Oh, Sigrid, a little creature appears from in the kitchen, uh, the underneath the sink. Like a little door opens, and it's it's just a plastic disc, and it moves towards you, and it's humming slightly. Wub, 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 wub. Wub, 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 wub. And it, it makes a beeline straight for the blood. It's a Roomba. It is indeed a Roomba. You see it starts cleaning up the blood, but it is not doing a good job. It does not seem to be uh, designed for blood. People who watch it smearing blood around. Welcome to TL8 American Robotics. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what we used to use prisoners for a lot? To clean up the mess. And then she'll just look right at our prisoner. Wait, 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 wait. I am part that's of the not, mess. That, yeah, yeah, that's right. You're gonna be a big part of the mess in a few minutes if we don't start talking. I'll go poke around in the galley until I find a sponge and some buckets or something. Uh, There's a closet with like with that stuff, probably. I'm not scared of death. Oh, I'm not gonna kill you. I'm just gonna rip you apart piece by piece. I grab his finger. What are you doing? I twist his finger. Ow. Ah! Nine! His finger snaps <laughs> and he screams in pain. Ah! Ah, minor finger desk. <laughs> <laughs> mein Finger ist weg. He just. Ah, du Arschloch. He grinds his teeth. Fick dich. <laughs> Die Anti Barbie machen. Anti Baby Pillar. That's it. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. To the heart. Hold on a minute. I got something here for the pain. Uh, I'll grab a. Uh, he, he's struggling slightly. I will grab something like vinegar, salt dispenser, whatever I can find over there. Um, perhaps then we can go over to the conversation. Yeah, let's have a look at this conversation. Yeah, just love to have with Andre. Sure. As an aside, if his goal is just to distract her so they could do some torturing, it's going well. <laughs> <laughs> no, but the torturing, the scream, does really help his case, what he wants to say. Fair. Oh, cool. Uh, yeah? What, what would you say a demon is? It, it appeared and it just destroyed everything. It took, perhaps took pleasure in it. It didn't care that... It had been summoned by someone. It was just there to destroy stuff, right? I, I guess. I and mean, it's, it's just bad the... to summon a demon. Yes. Because it's an evil creature that just exists to cause pain. No, you know. I, I'm not sure that we what? know that, but we don't need to. My finger. What if you found a demon frozen in ice for a thousand years that only takes pleasure in killing things? What if you saw it attack a lifeboat full of people fleeing for their lives? What do you suggest? Just because it wanted to kill them. What are you suggesting? Were those fleeing 
crew of an, a threat to Sigrid? Were they a threat to Sigrid? Was she in danger because of them? Are you trying to convince me that Sigrid's out of control? Yes. Okay. And we are partially responsible. We set up situations where she can do the one thing she truly loves, which is killing people. It's not like we're going to turn her in. Sigrid. So we just let her keep killing people? What is the greatest thing? Uh, what is best in life? <laughs> I mean, ideally, we bring <laughs> all of them in. So what, just training wheels for her? Because she's not giant and horned. I'm not going to turn her in. But if you're going to drop a, drop the dime on her, I'm not going to rat you out. That boat was full of people who could do her no harm. But yeah. I'm not sure that ratting her out, as you say, would do anything. Well, I mean, I'm sure the government could control her. She can't die, right? I mean, that... There's lots of ways of dealing with somebody other than killing them. Like freezing them. For example. They're plotting to get you, Sigrid, like the old fucking butler in Tomb Raider 2. They're gonna lock you in the freezer. Perhaps we should consider dealing with her. So that we are not tainted by what she is a monster I mean, to a degree we already are that's part of why i mean we're, we're beyond the point where we can just turn her in and not be guilty by association uh gee yeah. Your radio starts squawking. Not the Yakuza, but Garth. Oh, yeah, that guy. Howdy, how's it going? I'm closing in on your location now, kids. Oh, uh. We're done. The boat is sinking. I know, I, a, uh... I seen that. I'm heading for, for the catamaran. Uh, how about we just meet you back at Nirvana? There's a guy I'd like to get his hands on that person you've got with you. I'll, like, take my finger off the push to talk button, like, Who told Garth that we have a prisoner? Not it. This is just shakes his head. Um, okay, we'll heave to, and you can land, and I'll throttle the engines back to idle. Seriously, nobody told him? I was in here the whole time, right up until a couple of minutes ago. I mean, I, I kind of assumed he has us bugged. I didn't take my... I don't have my phone on me. How far out is he? Those things aren't waterproof. Like seven minutes. Roll. Can we deal with this first before he gets here? <laughs> what are we dealing Damn with? Damn it, I have to hurry up. Please get this skeleton away from me. He's uh, fucking insane. He's trying to kill me he's going to look at my hands he's ruined my hands did, i was a surgeon you fuckers 
What do you want to know? Just get it away from me. The the machine. What what was the machine that you were working on supposed to do? You should know. You and that girl you're with. It moves things. Normally, from one and place. And it's machina. And I think that word's transparent enough for you to get it. Maybe not. But I'm pretty okay, now, time machine. Uh, he said. He, he rolls his eyes. He says, "Clearly not. Although, I, it could. Maybe it was never designed for that. Uh, that was the best case scenario when that creature came through. But instead, we got that creature." Could you say that again? I, I, you said it's the best. It was the best case scenario that the creature got through, but instead they got the creature. Mm. No, 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 time, time travel. travel. Time travel was the best case, case. scenario. Okay. It can't be explained to Cretans like you children. I'll uh, I'll give a little nod to Myas. Nine, nine. It's. It's a platform. It transmits matter. We've been using I it. I grab him by the balls. No, you know, like, oh. like Star Trek? Yeah, like your stupid American Star Trek. See, like, I understand. more your American Star Trek than our American Star Trek. But, he rolls uh, his eyes. Look, he's going to be here any second, and there's still a giant pile of blood. Where's the other? Oh, that's what we're taking care of. Whatever, we'll just do this up on deck. Um, where's uh, where's the then other platform? Then let's go. Where's the other platform? I don't know. You don't know. Were you trying to move something from the ship to somewhere else, or were you trying to bring something else to the ship? It's a receiver only. Then and you don't where know where the sender is. I don't know. They send the things to go. To Presumably the... a giant base in the in states that were. It could be on the moon, for all I know. Range is unlimited oh. on this plane. Well, that would be really handy to have. I'm sorry that it's uh, currently residing at the bottom of the Pacific Ocean. I chose to destroy it to protect it from you terrorists. But you're oh, the terrorist. Uh, he's just enabling terrorists. You are uh, the sons and daughters of terrorists. We're not the one talking civilians. Can we go upstairs? Yeah, yeah, let's go upstairs. I'll uh... take the skeleton with you, please. <laughs> uh, no, no, mean, they're, they're taking anything. you with them. <laughs> I will pick up the uh, headless corpse and bring that up on the deck and huck it over the side. Splash. After... This will give a very pointed look at Audrey. She's holding her. She's holding her voice at the moment. <laughs> but do you clearly... wait him or anything, or just bloosh? Yeah, no, I mean, I don't want, I don't want Garth to see it, so. Cool. Uh, he sleeps with the fishes. Yeah, exactly. Sorry, I've been watching a lot of Sopranos. <coughs> so, once, so first of all, are we actually giving this guy, handing this guy over? Uh, you mean Sopranos? Let's, uh, let's see, let's see what kind of offer they make i mean it's not like we have anywhere to put them or i mean really any use for them right what are our options if we don't give it to guard just give it to uh, the police I, I mean, they're not gonna the, take it the real authorities yeah secret surf like there are there are layers like to the authority here no garth is something else wait garth isn't even secret surf Surf? He, he he's like a, a level of secrecy above that. I think he's like secret MI5 or like 
NSA or something. I think Garth. I don't, I don't want to get. I think Garth can make most use of him. I mean, do you want to give the CIA like time travel? Uh, I, I grab him in a choke hold, like I climb on his back, grab him in a choke hold. Nine. And uh, you better not be flesh melding. I start flesh melding my left hand into his chest, like just the tip of the fingers towards his heart. What is this? And then I look at Lucius. Hey, uh, Lucius, uh, I don't think he's going to try to resist till right now. Right? Please, I'll tell you anything. I don't like the way that kid looks. He's really creepy. Don't don't let him do whatever you want him to do to me. You, you will let Till D have his way with you, or it's going to be way worse. <laughs> no, oh, God. God. <laughs> that sounds so wrong, but yeah. <laughs> you can I'm hear just, a, just... a plane approaching Sorry. now, a propeller plane. I'll use my ability on him. I'll put my cigarette on my on the ashtray first. Important whisper was sent to you prior to that statement. I oh. I saw it and um, I was waiting for it. Great, great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. I just saw that message. Uh, I guess uh, Lucius is just gonna put his cigarette on the uh ashtray and say. Should be fine. Let's just keep tabs on him. Whatever happens, we just gotta keep an eye on him for now. Uh, Sigrid, roll me perception, please. Vision, in particular. Uh, at like a minus two. Audrey, too. You were out on that side of the boat. Sigrid fails. But you do hear a splash, Sigrid. Audrey, you see it. Something landed in the water, like maybe just 50 yards from the boat. Look over. Can't see anything there. And then, and then look up above where it was. can't see anything in the sky but you can hear the planes like right above you and it's sounding like it's starting to circle right and uh, then oh, have we stopped fully no yeah, but you, I have oh you did come to full stop radio great and some hands appear on the bottom of the ship i suppose i should take them right to the bottom of the map Uh, you can't see his face right now <laughs> because he's wearing a full black covered visor. But he'll step up here, come up the stairs, and look up Myers. He's unarmed and he's holding his hands up slightly. And he says, Hello, I'm with Garth. Do you have the gentleman aboard? Uh, we do. Bring him out, guys. You shoulder him up. This guy's looking. And he removes his visor now. He taps oh, side um, of his head. Go can on. I give you area knowledge? Or history? If you like, yeah. Ah, damn. Oh, that's a shame. Like, this is where it would be useful. <laughs> yeah, that's hilarious. You've got luck, I think. Ah, oh, what the hell. Half an hour. And yet is quite clearly a, uh, a zombie, it seems. <laughs> German guy. And does Matthias know who he is? Uh, 
with that nine, yes. Because. Mm -hmm. Okay. The German guy is scared. Nine, please. Please, I'll take the skeleton. <laughs> and this guy has got no. a creepy, you dry get... smile. You have no say in matter. Hello? I am Ghost. I am an acquaintance of Garth for over 30 years now. I am a specialist in the type of prisoner you have found yourselves in the possession of. Nazis. We. Oui. What are you going to do with him? I'll look at Audrey and raise an eyebrow. We'll learn everything we can from him, including acquaintances. I've been looking for Wilhelm for quite some time. He's a good get. I think we hear him about. Out of character, that's a joke. What? Wilhelm screaming. I think we used it a while ago. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh. I didn't even think about that, but yeah, no, that is good. He did a lot of screaming. It pisses me off when I hear that, but not as much as when I hear that squeaky door sound that I think's in Half Life. <laughs> but digestion. Yeah. Is this all of you? You're quite young. I'm sure at one point in the distant past you were too. He nods and smiles again. You work with Garth? From time to time. Be nice to have a, a bit more of a uh, official arrangement, I think. You won't find that. Nor should you desire it, honestly. Or we'll only make trouble. No, uh, get plenty of that as it is. Not. So, is there anything more you'd like from this gentleman, or may I take him with me? Anyone? Don't think oh. we need anything else. Push him across the deck. Is no one gonna detect lies on this guy? <laughs> But most trust. I like it. Myers can. No, if he's not got it. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm, I'm trying to reach my mouse. I'm pretty sure I have it. <laughs> Z-Warriors. Matthias thinks this, this like guy's a hero. Z-Warriors is like an uh, interaction right now, still. I'm gonna have to take Lyas just to follow Maya's hunch. Follow that hunch. That skeleton looks like it's got a hunch. 7 out of 16. Um, he's not lied about anything yet. Uh, Lucius will uh, just give Myers a nod as to say he's cool. Don't worry. Uh, this guy is a little bit hard to read, but... <laughs> <laughs> okay, I checked. I do not have the tech lines. None of the statements he made sounded false, nor was there anything suspicious about his language at all. Yeah, it's probably not smart, but I actually kind of trust Garth, at least, in things like this. Okay, but... I I, I think, Sig as far as Sigurd's concerned, he's the only one who's ever done anything that has affected any kind of actual change. I or, or at least, like... You can tell that Sigurd doesn't vote once every <laughs> four years. <laughs> <laughs> I sense... Hmm. You are suspicious. We aren't happy about the situation. We aren't happy about the situation in general. That's all. No. You should do something about the bugs that Garth has planted on you. Mm -hmm. The radio comes to life again, Guy. He's lying. There, there ain't no bugs. <laughs> 
Very funny, Garth. I assume they're in those fancy suits that he clearly had made for you by the Russian women. Oh, sorry, I think they're Ukrainian. Yeah, okay, that, uh... That makes sense. Max just looks at him. They ain't in the suit. Over. <laughs> He's lying. <laughs> Is there anything else we want to ask this German? Uh, he's... Oh, the German, right. Actually, <laughs> no. Matisse will ask ghost question. We? Oui. How many are left? Good question. Nazis. At least... 50. Now at least 49. Ah. Although, I suspect they are not a finite source. Their ideology is certainly not stagnating in many parts of the world. Oh, he was carrying a duffel bag when he came aboard that he he would have dropped there. So you are you are happy with your time with this gentleman? I may take him off your hands. So yeah, we, but we may reach out if something occurs to us later. Your skeleton if he tells you intrigues me. Go ahead very beautiful girl thank you if, if he tells you anything about the upcoming attack can you let us know I will do my best I will of course let Garth know uh, exactly thank you <laughs> and in like a a fast motion, he flicks his wrist, I think, and you see a, a little dart land in this guy's neck. And his eyes roll back into his head and he like goes limp and unconscious. He steps forward and catches him. Throws him over his shoulder and walks over to the duffel bag, which he just kicks with a foot. And suddenly a balloon unfurls. There's a loud hiss, like tss as it unfills and starts filling you see a light on the balloon start blinking and it gets higher and higher as the cables pulled out of that duffel bag he wraps a harness around that guy holds on tight himself you hear the plane engines get louder and he says I'm sure we will meet again it was certainly a pleasure to meet you all Waves goodbye. The plane gets a bit quieter. Likewise, you're a hero. <laughs> I wondered if any of you would recognize me. You must be from... And then... Whoosh, he is just ascended fast. Disappears into the darkness. For the record, I'm not learning how to do that. <laughs> We've got one. I mean, we'd need the plane, but still, we have one of those. Your radio right. squawks again. I'll try to catch up with you kids next week. I'm going to be out of town for a couple of days. Y'all be careful. And don't trust no one. Over and out. That was unexpected. I'm glad he, he didn't have to decide what to do with him. He's a Nazi hunter from Belgium, I think. Since, since the nukes. He's going to kill him after interrogating him. Yeah, but he's a Nazi hunter. That's it. They're kind of allowed to. It's his job. 
he doesn't get yeah. paid much for it. And and I think anything that he does recover, he ends up giving to families and descendants of victims. And anything else gets donated to a charity. Does he probably. speak Argentinian Spanish now? Almost definitely. <laughs> So, can we talk about tactics going forward? We've got time. Just like I... please don't make their heads explode. It's definitely more like in the movies. It's starting to gross up. The, the killing needs to stop. That's fair. Uh, for me, at least, tonight was kind of a special case. I mean, we were basically going to war, and I couldn't... And and, and we said that going in tonight. Like... We did. But not all of them were direct threats to us. I apologize about the head blowing up. I'm not good. talking to you, Guy. Oh. Guy will sit down and pull out a package of those little round crackers with peanut butter between them. Cigarettes? What were those men doing in a lifeboat? They were going to regroup. They were going back to their army. They had intelligence. I'm sorry, she wouldn't say that. She said they they knew too much about us. It was not safe to let them leave. They were going to be picked up by uh, by Mawson. Has that call happened, by the way? I haven't called them. I call the Yakuza. Somebody else gets to call Molson. No, I'll do it. You keep calling. You get to yourself one. It's Morton, isn't it? Morson, not Molson. He's he's not a really weak ass beer. Molson, Morson, Morton, Morson, Mason. Just don't tell him where we are. Merton. Well, yeah, you go uh, for me. Just... <clears throat> uh, it's over. Uh, a lot of things happen. A lot of, a lot of things. Uh, we might need to talk about this in Jesus person later. Christ. Are you all alright? Fine. But you might want to get some counter operatives on uh, any damage that might have been missed. Uh, and I'll just tell him about the boat and uh, his what's point the, of view on the mission. What's the threat level? Uh, right now, there's none, right? Out of character? I mean, there's a, there's few a bunch of guys. Underground secret boats, base. Or, yeah. No, okay. Nothing immediate, but... Uh, he'll say uh, then... Uh, Lily, by the way, no. um, you would about right now be waking up from a vicious nightmare. You managed to sleep for about 10 minutes and during that time you were locked in some of the most terrifying nightmares you've ever had you were right back there she might just bamf away at this opportunity to go home oh really a safe place uh, when dealing or it's, there's no one here to anchor her at the moment so she needs an anchor place one of the ways you deal with PTSD. You hmm. anchor yourself in the current moment. And on scary boat where there's covered in blood and warrior things going on, this is not a good place okay. to anchor yourself. She's been through enough therapy that she knows what she needs to do in this instance, so she's fucking off. Probably about 50 kilometers away. No, not even. Probably like 20 kilometers is away. It's under six. Okay, so is it? Do you want to give me the hundred sixty kilometers or the sixteen? I'll give you sixteen. Okay. 
she's she is gonna concentrate a while to get home. So. Where do you appear in your house? Her room. You can hear the TV. Oh, we can do finish them. We'll we'll, we'll do the thing after the scene. All right. Well, oh, there was a call and there was a conversation occurring. We're en route. We'll be there shortly to the boat location. Was it at GPS coordinates? Um, he would have those. Uh, yeah, he'll... yeah, it, it had not moved from its last ping. And it's just all right. So my 12 men, they'll, they'll be fine. They can manage this. Uh, well, the Yakuza will be there, too. They, they do have guards and supers on site. Well, you kids just get out of there. I can't believe you actually went. I'm pretty sure that's where you left off with Mawson, weren't it? Like him saying you shouldn't go, and then you go in anyway. Yep. Jesus Christ. Jesus. Yeah, he's just like swearing. Fucking bollocks. Wank toss. Click. Oh, there's. Wait, no. I. Oh, go on. I... Go on. No, well, I guess that's in character. He just clicks before he tells him. So <laughs> going to tell him about the laboratory underneath later. Give me an IQ check. Sounded like he was on a helicopter. Okay. So Mawson himself might be on his way out there. Um, the conversation that was happening. Sigrid getting telled off. Sigrid saying, mm, no witnesses. Nothing. We can't just kill everyone that sees us. Especially because they, like, they didn't even know that much. We were all in costume and stuff. It was battle. If it, if it keeps coming up, though, they're going to throw you in jail. Or worse. Expelled. <laughs> we don't reference that anymore. That author's <laughs> gotta get the priorities in order. She must not be named. Like the authorities here look away look the other way a lot, but when it comes to actually killing people and people dying that's when they pay attention. Also, it's a bad thing to do. How is it bad to kill enemies? They were fleeing. Then they're cowardly enemies. Why not kill an island? Why don't you kill on the island? Because you tell me not to? Looks at Audrey. I'm not her keeper. I'm desperate for the uh, little supervillain's room. So a, a break would be good for me right now, or I can just mute myself and run if you want to keep up this beratement. Argue! Let's just let, mm, let, let them argue. Ma I was done with the berating. Oh, okay. Matthias doesn't Great. care to berate her directly after she admits that she has no concerns for anything. He, he'd rather plot. <laughs> <laughs> Look, 
Sigurd, there are laws here, and if you keep breaking them, that ex breaking the big ones, they're going to come after you, and they're going to come after us. Um, think of it like an order from your your all. Like, you may not want to do it, but that's what you need to do. Yes, and we had come to this agreement, but when we started this assault, this attack on on that boat, we we had discussion about how the agreement was off for this. Okay, but you you, you understand the agreement is back on then. Yes. All right. Okay. I also think we need to be a little bit more careful about, like, our real-world identities and, like, alters, that kind of stuff. Uh, that, nothing, nothing specific recently. This is a more of a general thing. I, I have a new number that's for Violet only, for plotting purposes. It's potentially a good idea, but if you're found with the phone on you, it's pretty incriminating. It's not on me. I, I, I've got a system. Okay. Yeah, why don't we... Why don't we go home, get some sleep, maybe take a day off, and then come back and, and talk about big picture stuff in terms of what we want to do going forward with this plot and with, you know, vigilantism, excuse me, vigilantism in, in general. Yeah, that's right. Sounds good. How's the blood coming out? I don't know, it wasn't me. You've probably oh just got, eyes. like, the hose Go from the up. sink at this point. Like, you know, the, the extendo tap. <laughs> you just push, spraying it all out. There's a river of blood going down into the ocean and trailing behind the boat. Gee is scrubbing some upholstery with the rough side of the sponge. I'm sure it's all pleather. This is an American. Yeah, it might be leather. It might be fine Corinthian leather. Well, then that's just not coming out. <laughs> I'm going to piss myself. We're taking a break. We'll be right back in five minutes. We're back. Very, very, very short break. I'm not even going to bother doing a recap. Sigrid, bad. Don't be bad anymore, Sigrid. No. She was bad. She was within the... I'm, I'm with you, Sigrid. You were within the confines of the rules. You did not see it, bro. Well, actually, you probably did. <laughs> I, I did. I, I did. Um, Lily is not with her, but Tara, as a player, completely <laughs> within the. If you want a rules lawyer, that shit. <laughs> oh yeah, but we're all a lot more sociopathic about our characters. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> How about we cut to Dunning Tower quickly? Yes. God knows who's going to be on this map. Everybody. Ignore everybody else. Grab the people I need if they're here. Don't think they are. Well, the two new owls are bedroom owls now. They, that, that was their per, uh, their promise. And before uh, their moms come in, uh, she is going to quickly at least remove the more costumey bits of it so she can still have her, like, leather jacket on. But, yeah. So, yeah, it's it's not just that you hear the TV, but you bamf into your bedroom and then there is a scream from the living room. <laughs> Helmet comes off, gets tossed into the corner in between the bed and the wall there. Door like slams open, and you just get slammed into by Mila and Ray. Who just like keep moving slightly as they slow down, squeezing you as hard as they can. Mila's just like kissing you over and over. It's like my baby, my baby, you're alive. Jack, Jack told me. 
Oh my god, Lily. What were you thinking? What did Jack tell you? That, that you were going to sink an American ship loaded with marines. Oh yeah, I didn't sink it. The demon did. The demon? Louie, you're covered in blood. She's like wiping yeah. you. Yeah. She produces a uh, tissue from up her sleeve. Licks her thumb, rubs your face, starts wiping. She's like, oh my god, your scar, Lily. It opened back up. Why? I thought we weren't referencing that, Luke. <laughs> People can have scars open up for other reasons. Um, you think there's an original idea in any of them books? Or any of my games? <laughs> Ray yeah, was just uh, crying. Just like, I missed you so much, Lily. I missed you so much. So, uh, she's kind of staring off, but not into, she did to the middle distance a little bit. Mila's gonna step back and, like, pull Ray on out of the mechanical death hug as well. It's just like... Lily, you're exhausted. You need oh, to rest. No. Let me get you some cocoa. Uh, I'm not a cocoa ghost. might help more with exhaustion. Oh, she's going to spike it with something. But it's not going to be a, an upper. It will be a <laughs> sleep. She's freeze. got medical grade shit. Mm -hmm. It's going to be like Ambien. On, is it Ambien? What's the other one? I, I the, one that Ambi, the one that doesn't make you racist. Hopefully Mila's not got the one that makes you racist. So Lily's just gonna nod. Her look would be nice. I'll, I'll get on that. And she runs out room and Rayon's still just hugging you and she's like, Lily, Lily, it was so boring. But it's so weird. things they had us doing out there. Tell me about it when I'm not catatonic. She that's, nods. That's not the wrong word. And she sniffs. Wrong word. Mila comes running back in with some speed superheated cocoa spiked with heroin. <laughs> spiked with knockout juice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's, um, she'll take a sip. All the opposite. Uh, she'll take a sip and go. Yeah. Oh, go on. Here's something funny. The they opened a, the Americans opened a hell dimension. One of they them were in there. <laughs> I saw one of them tonight. He just took another big hit. Have you told Mila and Ray about them? Oh yeah. Okay. Mila's eye is it just a, like? Would a six year old not? say the traumatic thing that happened to them that haunts their every nightmare yeah they're gonna tell them about them and she's like lowering you into the bed and pulling the weighted blanket over you I don't think I'll be able to do out I assume yep well, you can roll HT at minus four if you like. Uh, no, she's out. Better living through science. <laughs> It'll also... Uh, I was trying to think of something snappy to say that it could do while you were asleep, but no, I failed. Boo. Boo at myself. They cry and both kiss you for it. And then go to bed. Um, I think it's a good time for a short time skip. Unless anyone wanted to say anything else on the boat, I assume you make a sneaky arrival back at Nirvana? Yeah, I think so. I mean, define sneaky. 
you don't I'm, all walk I... off the boat in your super suits, covered in blood, uh, laughing. Yeah. Uh, I, uh, Violet will drop everybody else off somewhere that's not the docks, and then we'll not take the boat in that night. Okay, so you're just going to leave it. You're going to stay on the boat tonight. Yep, but just sort of be hanging out with, with where other people just sort of hang out out on the sea. Mm, yeah, there's... Near Dunning Medical, near the coast there, is probably the best for people getting home. That'll work. Mm -hmm. But yeah, there's plenty of locations, and I'm pretty sure your boat is docked at this <laughs> sorry this marina a bit south there yeah that area. one makes sense planning on walking home Matthias yeah it's uphill but oh well both ways um below them Sigrid, you'll get home. Mila and everyone seems to be in bed, but it does seem like Mila and Ray are back. Cool. If you I even go back shower. to Dunning Tower. I, I think, yeah, I think Sigrid immediately goes and showers. Cool. Her her hair is a little redder than normal. A gee, where do you go? Do you go to the apartment that you got set up with? Uh... What day of the week is it? It is Saturday, very early morning Saturday. Very early morning Saturday. Probably. No, like then I go dawn. to the pharmacy. Koi. You got like a cot set up there or something? Yeah, I mean, I'm there more than often than I'm at home. Koi. Lucius? Um... I'm heading out to my place with uh, Laura. I think it was at New Kadampa. Uh, correct, it's on the other side of the island, uh, but the tram can get you there in 15 minutes. Yeah, yeah, he'll just take the tram, wave everybody goodbye, and just leave with a cigarette on his mouth and his hands in his pocket. Laura's, like, asleep in the bed, completely nude with the covers, you know, half on her, half off her, half off the bed. Uh, he's gonna take a shower, and he's just going to bed and go to sleep. He is exhausted. Mm-hmm. <laughs> She like rolls He's over. He's gonna, yeah, rolls He's over and slaps you in your ass and squeezes it tight and snores. <sighs> His eyes just open wide and then he just slowly closes them back to sleep. Like he just <laughs> uh, keeps her clothes for uh, one and sleeping cuddles. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, mama said, Matthias walked home. Myers. Uh -huh. Your room is now covered in... Well, your entire apartment is now covered in runes. Before, on the way back home, mm. uh, what do I know about the Politburo guy? Okay, yeah, I've been meaning to mention this, but I keep going sidetracked. I did briefly mention when 2D first possessed the very first grunt that attacked you. Um on the boat back first time round. I said that you'd got the name of the Politburo guy, but that really doesn't make sense that this guy had be given that information when they're in the business of protecting as much information as possible from every body. <laughs> but mm -hmm. you would have got that there is one of the members of this specific, the elected Politburo, is a direct US plant. So you know that one of them is, but you're not sure which. Oh, okay. Uh, what happened to the VIP that I got from the helicopter? Yeah. I don't think he was the person that died on the boat, was he? No. <laughs> no. Was, yeah. Was the second end of the ship. We should have mentioned him. I... Did we say at the time he... that Lily picked up him and Myas? Yes. Okay. So he would have been on the boat. I'm guessing he fell unconscious for whatever reason, and that's why we didn't mention him at all just then. Oh shit, he <laughs> fell under the bed and nobody noticed. 
did Morrison get him? Let's say Morrison got him. That works for me. Mm-hmm. Mm. And unless we wanted to actually get more out of that guy also. I think at this point it was 4 a.m. and we were all just came off of a daring ship adventure. Yep. It's probably best if we want to come back to him later. It's fair. Let, let's say we handed him over because we were tired and we were focused on the on the actual Nazi. Okay, so mm -hmm. in that drop-off stage, Mawson would have got a crew ready to pick him up for you. That'll work. And on the handover and in the radio conversation, there was some kind of semi- quid pro quo that maybe you could get to interrogate him again in the future. Sounds good. Uh, uh, how, how many people on the Politburo? Mm. Quite a few. Maybe 36-ish? that too many? Maybe 24-ish? That's uh, a lot of people to kill. <laughs> can we cross-reference cross the uh, the blackmail material that we stole from the Yakuza to see if there are any likely candidates? It, it can be attempted, for sure. Like, there is one guy that sticks out in all your minds immediately, but then he seems too yeah. obvious, but then maybe... That's the guy, which is someone called Anthony Lala Jr., who is an Italian, former Italian American. And he is, um, Politburo, like, there, what's the word? Is an elected official, an elected policymaker. There we go. Is a pep Politburo elected policymaker for um, blah, 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 the North Nukadampa region, the very industrial areas, a blocks section. But he's suspicious because he's a fairly recent refugee from America. And he's... He's already on the blackmail lists. Or not blackmail, but you know, suspects. People to investigate. Uh, how many of them are mad us? Uh, probably about... A third... A third to a half. Forty percent. Mm-hmm. Anthony Lala Jr. is not a meta. Okay. Uh, so I get home and it's covered in, in glyphs. Oh yeah. Um, sigils, magical symbols. Um, at 6am Naomi's passed out covered in blood and other painted material on the sofa. Penguins asleep on her boobs. Ashtray full of joints, smoked joints, roaches. <laughs> um, the lights are starting to not work very well. There's too much magic going on. This happens when your mum's doing big spells. Uh, mm. Light bulbs start only working for like hours at a time. She switches to candles for uh, stuff mostly. But like you instinctively go to turn the light on and then... Flicker, flicker, pop. 
Oh. Oh, looks like the spell is almost ready. I guess I just go to my room and crash a bit. Not sleep, but no. rest and plot. Mm-hmm. Nice plots. Maybe play some Game Boy. <laughs> yeah. Not Game Boy. Um, uh, er, nope. Head empty. <laughs> Thoughts all be gone. So, shall we skip uh, two days? <laughs> sure. Yeah. Most yeah. Of I'm I'm good with that. I need to make two rolls. Give me a second. Unless I'm being heavily medicated. Uh oh no, you you will wake up. Oh. But I, I think. Well, what, is it just straight up or am I minuses? What what are we wanting to roll? I have to roll. Uh, sleeping my nightmares. For oh, night. your nightmares. Okay. Um, they they would be cancelled out for the next two days only because of the medication. Okay, so I'm heavily medicated. Gotcha. Yeah, you're groggy for all of this, but you do get to meet and talk with Omar. Um, in fact, you're all probably just lying low. What should we say? You all just, like, legit take the weekend off, sleep. I think that's a good call. I think that's a good call, too. Yeah. I mean, off is a relative term, but definitely off from super... from vigilante stuff. Mm-hmm. I'm exactly. seeing my therapist. Ooh, it's that is a good idea. February. And yeah, Mila would definitely schedule you in for a session with her. Also, let's get Sigrid a therapist. Yep, Mila would schedule Sigrid in for a session with her as well. Um, I could suggest an uh, option. Go on. Lucius is running psychology, probably for class. He needs to make an assignment. He could be willing to do it for Sigrid. Yeah, no, <laughs> that's not how therapy works. Your first year. Uh, yeah, uh, he's doing law. I'm not sure if that would be sent to them. Also, we, us we know you. Uh, how does that? Sorry, I it's don't know. Psychology. For, for uh, therapy, you want somebody that's not that doesn't know you personally, and also and who has training in anything. Yep. Starting out, people don't work with other people. They they just study. No, sorry, In I fact, they probably don't even do anything about like um, that, about like therapy. They probably would just have very very introductory stuff that has no application to actual therapy okay. in any meaningful sense. It's, I, um, I still like that he offered though because that is something a first year uh, who is who truth. our first year psych student would have done, which is awesome. And I love it. It's kind of kind of like medical students, in that you're pre med. I thought you were going to say in that all the medical students in the first year are like offering to do surgery on the friends. Well, that, that's also <laughs> like everybody that's pre med thinks they know shit about medicine. Someone's pointed out. So that yeah, anyway, two cigarettes. But cigarette going to therapy is an amazing thought that we can do in text chat. Oh, yeah, Sigrid in therapy will be in the text chat, and those will get uploaded to Patreon at some point, probably. The first I'm round, editing them. The, the first one's, like, ready, right? I'll upload it to Patreon. No, it still, need, it still needs editing. Okay. Don't do it yet. So the first one's, first one's not ready. It still needs editing. Don't do it yet. And an ending, because we kind of just trail off in most of those. But, yeah. We take the weekend off. We yes. take oh. the weekend off. Monday morning. February 1st, 11999, White Rabbits. You say that on the first of the month. If you say that on the as soon as you wake up on the first day of the month, you'll have good luck all month. Yeah. Do you have that in America? No. No. Just a British old wives' tale. I mean, we don't have good luck, so... <laughs> you got to take it by Sorry. imperial yeah. power. No, every day you don't get shot in America is a good one sad um you've got university most of you um mm -hmm. sigrid's got 
learning classes. I'll, I mean, I'll go, but I'm not paying much attention. <laughs> and Matthias will receive an email. Ooh, it'll distract him from thinking about how he killed a human being yesterday. He should get therapy also. You should come should see me on Monday. We think we've got some translations. Or in fact, no, they just send you what they think the translations say in the email. What do they say? Uh, a point of ending. A place to leave. It's as if it's like a map marker or something they think it might have been. Almost like a destination pin on a map search dot Nirvana. Huh. I'll type up a thank you email. Wait, email. Um. He wouldn't see that until the end of the day. Don't get email on your phones in the nineties. No, you don't. You'd you'd have got that on Sunday evening, let's say. Um, not all that useful. Fair enough. Eh? Eh. Uh, uh, anything anyone's wanting to say or do in particular? I think we're, I'm, I think we're all just recovering. That was a major... We also thing. went... Better part of a day without sleeping. Yeah. Uh -huh. No, it's, it's Monday. You go into university. You're doing your things. Monday mm -hmm. evening comes around. I think the only, the, the major changey thing that Audrey's up to is Violet's sort of establishing a life a bit as well. And what as well? Uh, Audrey's building in a backstory for her alias. Oh, okay. Making Violet an actual person. Or trying to come close. Uh, I think I was supposed to at some point have uh, a meeting with the lady who got me out of jail and um, Morrison. Marcella Vitalis and Morrison. Yeah. Because she definitely said when she got me out, we have a common acquaintance. We have when we should have a chat about that sometime. I don't know when you want to do that. I was just reminding you that it was a thing that was said. Thank you. Yep. Nothing's been mentioned to you since. Mila and Ray have not said much about where they were since, uh, except that it were. It were on a boat. Um, and they were researching something that's dangerous to meta humans that got found. Oh, well, she knows how to manipulate her mom, so she's going to try to get answers by usually any questions. Do you want something? Uh, yeah, interrogation, psychology, a, a bit or minus. Uh, I don't have either, so just IQ minus six, I assume? Yeah, take that. What's any bonuses because of familiarity? Yeah, give me an IQ minus minus three. What about carousing? <laughs> Drink the info at her. Alright. Ooh, look at that. On the nose. I mean, I'm going against Mila's IQ or willpower or whatever the hell it is. So. She's pretty dumb too. And you're also talking to Ray in the same at the same time. Yes. And Ray will be like, it's it's like a big crystal. And Mila, uh, Mila like instantly slaps her on the leg and hurts her hand. She's like, ow! And, oh, shut up, Ray. We can't say anything about it. 
crystal, like psychic crystals, like hoodoo voodoo, like the metaphysics stuff that uh, they like to talk about on the TV. Because that's all real. She looks at like Mila kind of. Mila's just f frowning and avoiding your gaze to just stare at the TV, but Ray's just nodding. Yeah, yeah, like that. But it's What's big. It, do it takes away your powers and it can kill you even. If you get too close. Huh. The Americans wanted it, so we had to take it away from here. Ray! Shut up. Wow. That's crazy. Where did you take it to? <laughs> no. Come on, Ray. We're going to bed. Until he gets switched off. Six o'clock? We're not going to sleep. Oh. 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 Come on. No. Oh. She walks over to uh, uh, her handbag first and gets a purse out. Pulls out like a hundred Nova or something. And says, here, why don't you go out and see your friends? You, you, I know you were tired all weekend, but it'll help take your minds off things. I'll take the money, because I always take money, and then go, okay. Hey, Sigrid, do you want, or Red, do you want to get something to eat? And then we'll have an adventure. It's <laughs> It's Sigrid's just like laid on a bed right now, maybe reading a comic, I want to say. We uh, just piles of deli meats on a chest. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like something you would do. Hey, a bunch of gabagoo. Reading a comic here, yeah, just looking at the pictures in the most violent comics that you could find. Bond, or what's the equivalent? She likes the comics because uh, they're mostly pictures. Uh -huh. Like all pictures. Shame that they block out some of the pictures with them stupid word bubbles, but whatever. Yeah, but she'll go out and kidnap everyone if they want to. Or you could just ask them to meet somewhere. <laughs> That's no fun. All right, well, if Sigurd wants to go, we'll meet up at a donut place somewhere. Sweets will be had. Donuts, donuts. Either that, or actually, no. We'll, we'll, since we have a map for it, skating ring, and we'll have, there will be all of the donuts there waiting. Nice. It's not archived. I think at least the blood's cleaned up by now. Probably. I'm confident I've asked this before, but is this a we show up as our regular people location or show up as our alter egos location? Us. Cool. Yeah. So, Lily's like, what's Lily's pitch? I have donuts and Jack Daniels. Who's going to be there? Everybody? I might give it a pass. Alright. Uh, in character, Lucius, if you say to everyone, he will join. And he'll ask if he could bring Laura. Sure, why not? We'll be there. We're bringing... Uh, psycho. Stop. Get the psycho in on this. She's always a joy to have around. I don't say that, but that's what's going <laughs> on the head. Laura shows up. Oh, uh, also, I want to add to uh, just in character as uh, to allocate points later. Uh, Laura would have noticed that in the morning after they're done doing loot stuff, he gets a shower and then he goes out for a running. And he has been just lightly working out a little bit more than usual in the morning and on the night. 
okay. uh, trying to get more speed and lift strength. Laura's uh, like watching you do push-ups in the evening in the apartment, and she's like, "Like, join me on the other stripper pole. This thing's totally like a full body workout." And she, like, you know, tries to do something on it and slips and falls down. She's like, "Oh, there's too much lube on it." <laughs> He's gonna laugh a little bit and then stop to uh, rub her head, give her a kiss, and then just take care of her for a bit. Uh, but then they're gonna. She, he's gonna remind her that they gotta uh, head over Lily's and get ready. Yep. And um, you are uh, here, uh, Gay. Yeah. Yep. Myers. Yep. Kill. Um, so before Lara shows, shows up, uh, since Lara's coming on the, uh, Seabur's phone. Uh, never mind. I'll tell them later. Ignore me. Ignore me. So, like, this place is weird. Like, Kinda, you, yeah. you guys hang out in an abandoned, like, disco now? Well, you have to see the potential. It's just a creepy, dusty old skating rink now, but we're going to change it into a community center and recreation center. Like, okay. That, like, I suppose there isn't one around here, like, since this one closed. Do those cabinets still work? Yeah. I think so. Uh, one of you would have already some of Lucy's high sports. What are cabinets? No, sorry, I thought this was you meant by cabinets. The arcade the cabinets. Yeah. Arcade machines may be referred to as cabinets, as I understand it. Yeah. So, like, think so. Well, weird, but like, okay. Aren't you guys, like, kind of busy with school, though? That's what I was wondering. Like, who's actually going to be, like, working on this place? He kind of raises his hand halfway. In between all the other pro projects. I gotta pee, and she'll stand up and go to the bathroom. Be careful! Simultaneously, or... <laughs> oh yeah not all those toilets have uh, seats on them be careful so to add to the bullshit that's happening uh, with the, the Americans now that I've discovered that there's a rock that gets rid of meta powers hey that has to be well there's cuff after all, right? Is it like a type of stone or is it one specific like MacGuffin rock? It's a uh, one big old crystal, apparently. Oh, well, it's not so bad. So it's do not I the have... kind of thing that they can make bullets out of. Do I have Probably the they could. It says uh, from my from my sources it says that if you get close to it, it gets rid of your powers and it could kill you. Oh. Also, look, did the cuffs that Lucius talked to Morrison about, were they look crystally or like normal cuffs? Uh, no, they, they just look, well, they don't look like normal cuffs. Uh, they are huge. Almost like the wrist sections of two Nintendo Power Gloves glued together. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> I love the Power Glove. <laughs> uh, Lucius is going to ponder if the two of them could be related as he kind of like made sense of well there's already cuffs could they be part of it drug just thought you guys should know are you okay 
Sure, why not? Let's go with that. Matthias, your phone rings while you're in your office, office, dorm, <laughs> wherever you are, maybe a library. Hello? Oh, it's me. We need to talk. I gave you some time, but there's some things that don't add up. Okay. You with your friends? Where? No, they're somewhere else right now. Well, I want to talk with all of you, but you'll do first. Anywhere, where do you want to meet? Viking Village? That place is pretty quiet in the evenings. Sure. Alright, I'll be there in half an hour if that's good for you. Okay. Alright, good. Click. Meanwhile, back of the roller rink. I mean, she's kind of got a point. This place needs a lot of work. Like, it didn't flush. <laughs> A lot of work. Like, uh, like ten hours a week. Can you guys give give ten hours a week to this? I guess I'm gonna have to come up when I get more time to help. Like, it ended up being more than number one. Uh, should I'll, I do something? I'll take care of it. Like it. It really. Was, it wasn't. It wasn't that the flush didn't work. It's that it wouldn't go down. I guess this is a closet. Myas, go make it disappear. <laughs> like, ew, I don't want Myas <laughs> to see it. Lucius, I don't want you to see it either. Um, Do you, like, have a plunger? Is there a plunger in there? I. Is this, like, the main? There's, yes, like, indeed, there is a... You find a plunger in there. Housekeeping? Oh, like, yeah, he, he'll come, like... Uh, he he enters like normal suit and all fancy like he comes out with like gloves the the bag over his head a mouth <laughs> cover uh like he, he is ready to sterilize and he goes to work he and his oh. girlfriend aren't uh, reenacting german porn <laughs> why is this <laughs> drawing here <laughs> i think he brought that stuff with him <laughs> Alarm. Alarm. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. There's... I'm going to need more cigarettes for this. <laughs> no, that, that's just some straw that's in there for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> and why are you wearing a mask? Shut up. So what? Blow me. <laughs> <laughs> Laura, like, looks at everyone, turns bright red, starts crying and sprints out of the building. Uh, you hear a voice as she's running through the the door, uh, like under the half up shutter, I'm guessing. And uh, it's like, oh, slow down, miss. You're going to hurt yourself. Oh, for fuck's sake, you're still a square bastard, Garth. <laughs> he always will be a square. Uh, well, he walks in, ducks his head under, he's like, anybody home? No. Wait, I roll. Well, that's a damn shame. He starts pulling the shutter down behind him. Who was that? She seemed kind of upset. What did you guys do to her? Do you really want to know? We told her you were coming. <laughs> That was my reaction, almost my reaction when I heard too. The toilet wouldn't flush. She's special. I don't know what you're saying right now, but we should talk. I'll kick a chair out. 
So you find them bugs yet? Yeah, I haven't been looking. Well, you should get on that. It was somewhat of a test that you've been failing for a while now. Was it? Or have we been feeding you exactly the information we want you to? He raises his eyebrows. Well, good job. Oh, wow. Maybe you could Damn. tell us how to find a bug? You'll need some equipment. Special stuff for something like this. A sort of spray? Nah, it's more like a sweeper. Did you come here for a reason? Yeah, we need to talk about that boat. What happened there. And I'm sorry that I had to throw you kids into that. It was not my intentions. Yeah, we would have gone even if you hadn't told us. I'm not sure I want to admit to even that. Well, there's no real way of saying it. Uh, I'm sorry. That's it. <laughs> I want you guys to meet some people in a couple of weeks. The people you're going to be taking over from one day. All things going well. You've already met Joe. How's that sound to y'all? Sure, why not? Yeah, that's fair. By the way, I'm on my way in and I'm a big boy. It's time I told you a little bit about the systems we got in place in Nirvana. You know, Surf, they look after the civilians. Minor things, people getting upset, people hurting themselves, accidents. They deal with that, and they're damn good at it. Then you got Secret Surf, run by Morrison. He does a bad job, and he's a fucking dumb piece of shit, and he needs replacing with someone who knows what they're doing. Then you got me, and I'm coming up on retirement someday. I've been saying that for 10 years, but I run the other thing. We don't got a name. Names are stupid. You kids can give yourselves one if you want, but it was never my thing. We deal with the real threats. Like enemy boats in our, our territories? Yeah. Problem is, you kids just ain't ready for that yet. Shouldn't be your prerogative. Honestly, I feel like we bit off more than we could chew, too. Like, we started out just wanting to help our neighborhood. Where's, uh, where's Ryan? He ain't here? He get upset? Let me guess, there I mean, was some extraneous killings taking place. Sigurd just kind of smiles and nods. Y'all need to work on your group calls. I know y'all agreed to no killings, but Sigrid, y'all did get unnecessary there. That's not the way wars is fought no more. A 
mice, you gotta have some respect for a human life. Just the tiniest, he holds his fingers up, pinch emoji. Just the tiniest piece of respect for a human life. I do have respect for human lives. But I do not respect dogs at all. Oh. We'll see if you can prove it to us. Because at the minute we ain't sure. Now what your kids should be doing is filling an important role that I believe Nirvana is missing. And that's so Secret Surf. What Secret Surf should be doing. This island's full of evil people doing evil things, but they get away with it. The Yakuza are the least of your problems. There's over, uh, I don't know how we're going to make up a number then, but it'd be well wrong. He says a, an obscenely large number of square kilometers of blocks underneath this city. Built in the 1970s when we thought we were going to get nuked again at any second. Places have gone to shit. Underrepresented. Overpopulated. And one you out of call every, them hives. One out of every ten of them. Has got the power to kill the other nine. By snapping their fingers. Those power dynamics in places like that, where no one's putting their foot down, don't play nice. And that's where you guys need to be looking. Leave this America problem to me. I know it's tough. Try and push it out of your mind. No fucking arguments here. She takes a long pull from the jackpot tip bottle. Uh, with a caveat, we want to be in on, we want to be on the scene during the, the, uh, what are we calling the visit? The anniversary. Yeah. Uh, we want to be, we want to be there. In case something happens with you and whoever else you're going to have waiting. He drains his hip flask and then starts filling it up from the bottle of Jack Daniels that Lily brought. Oh, there's a couple bottles. From one of the bottles of Jack Daniels. Yeah, I don't, I suppose I don't see a problem with that. We got two months to get y'all ready to work with the team. Sounds like plenty of time to get the Politburo traitor. I got theories. Theories that I don't like. Obvious one is that La La guy. He got ties to the Mafia back in the States. That's how he got over here in the first place. Smuggled out with sports cars. Don't, don't you put bugs on them? Like all of them? Several bugs? I think it's Morrison. I think you're but bullshitting me. I don't think it's Morrison. He wouldn't have called you in when he knew that we were going after the ship. I don't know if... No, you're right. No, yeah, wreck on that. That's me being dumb and stoned. <laughs> he could say it just to be a dick. Yeah. He says yeah. it He says it to be a dick, and then he's like, I like your instincts. 
<laughs> there was a test. You passed the test. Well done. <laughs> Most men would have said, I agree, it's definitely Morrison, but you guys know you're on the ball. So, keep your eyes on Lala for sure. Uh... Vitalis, she's definitely not the one, but she's an N to the pep. Vitalis, that was the one I talked to, right? Yep. The pep makers. That par that's, does that mean parliament? The Politburo elected policymakers. Oh, uh, okay. She has an iPhone. She does have an iPhone. Those things are brand new. They're not called iPhones. Are they wrist capable? Uh, no. What, what were they called? Wrist something? Smartwatches? Wrist pockets. No. no. Wrist pockets. <laughs> wrist pocket were a secret place you could go. But it might have been a wrist pocket, was the smartwatch you had. Anyway, that was just a diary. <laughs> yeah, from another time. Um, well, she's an in to the pep makers. I'm real busy right now with a lot of what shit. Go on. What? What what are your plans for the uh, habitat? Which habitat? Remind me. The uh, underwater habitat. The one under the boat. We know. I I know. Which one you mean? Hmm. We can't find it for one what you know right where it is yeah we do but there's nothing there at least not that we've found it's mobile it's in a precarious location we found wreckage of the boat but not the full wreckage of the boat There's debris littering a, like a 10 square kilometer area down there, but it is all small debris. So not only did you lose the secret American underwater base that is going to house their operations against the 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 island but but you can't even find the boat that was sunk the boat that to... was someone else was saying something go on nope i think he's just uh affirmative i suppose and you don't want us to think about this american thing at all I'm not bathed in confidence. I'm. Don't mind saying. <laughs> I wouldn't worry too much about it, kids. It's in hand. Doing everything we can. Uh huh. Just All uh, right. <coughs> I mean, <laughs> well, as nice as it was to have you trashing our little shindig, and we have a meeting time for next time, uh, and all that jazz. So for now, why don't you go? Wow. 
<laughs> that that wasn't appropriate. See y'all, kids. Thank you, sir. No problem, Jen. Oh, hey, miss. Welcome back. Like, uh, uh, I've got, like, allergies to, like, uh, old bathroom dust. Who is that weird, creepy old guy? He was our landlord. Uh, excuse me? He owns this place. How is that allowed? Oh, We're not oh, in she... the zone. I forgot about that. I mean, we're not exactly in a zone at all. Like, oh my god, is this place like an illegal crime thing? Yep. Holy shit. Oh my god, like, is that guy hurting you? Like, do we need to tell somebody about the landlord? She's, uh, well, is gonna lean forward and go, yeah, because this place is an underground uh, evil lair that was once owned by the Yakuza, and everyone is, uh, and she's gonna tell the story, but in a really sarcastic manner. Like, mm -hmm. it's really loose. Just the loose strokes, not getting very specific, but just saying it in a really sarcastic manner. Like, you guys are messing with me. Yes. I uh, guys, some dick we know. Don't worry about him. This place could be kind of nice. Like, I don't like school. I'd be willing to help out instead of, like, just smoking weed in the apartment and waiting for Lucius to come back from his lectures. You're waiting for what? He says as he come back with, uh... <laughs> With the rest of the thing. <laughs> he missed the whole thing. That's crazy. <laughs> so he comes very unknowing of what's going on as he just takes off the uh, the gloves and everything, and he's just like, uh, puts them on the table, gives her a kiss, lights another cigarette. So, what did I miss? Your girlfriend got a job. She's helping he fix this place up. Wow, you guys are quick at getting to know Laura. I'm glad you guys are getting along. Everybody just kind of looks at each other over the table. Like, I met you, your creepy old landlord. You'll have to tell me, like, I don't, I don't even care, you guys. Like, can I have one of these donuts? Yeah, sure. Munch, munch, munch. And anything in particular anyone wants to say right now here? Um, not for my part. Yeah, I don't know what's So, Matthias. Yeah? There's a couple of nerds milling about in a couple of places, but it's generally quiet, and people come and jog around this park occasionally, and you'd see Mawson there, uh, eating. He's got, he's got a tray of takeaway food, some noodles, probably. Hey. Hey. <clears throat> All right. So that boat, yeah. Went there yeah. when we got there. There was some oil. There was some dead guys. There were a lot. Uh, there was a there was a demon. You what? Uh, th there was a Nazi, he, he summoned a demon by accident. It destroyed the ship. You don't make any sense, kid. He performed some ritual with a bunch of flesh. It was on, in the middle of a room. And then a demon appeared. And it destroyed the ship with with a giant whip. 
Well, shit. That sounds made up. Did you find any escape boats? We caught a couple of lifeboats. We've got around 12 men in custody. Uh, we had 15, but three of them, their heads went. We got the bomb out of that one guy you found us. I don't know how bald he knew it were uh, faulty. We tried on one of those three that didn't make it, and his was not faulty. The other two, they were just sat in the cells and their heads popped. The rest we've got oh my God. medically induced right now. We're trying some cutting edge shit. I don't understand it. There's a couple of guys that are helping too. We're looking into it. Problem is, there's no sign of that undersea base. It, it should be there, right? Yeah. We've had people go down. It's difficult to navigate that terrain there anyway. But in the exact spot where the crane was lowered, there is absolutely nothing. Perhaps the demon got to it. Have you seen anything about that? Is it still out there somewhere? There's been no sign. Our guys were fine. All right. It sounded like there was more you wanted to talk about. Something specific you hinted at? I mainly needed to know about that boat. I was worried. I wanted to make sure everything you thought you'd found out was right. Okay, yeah. Um... Anything you're not telling me. You work with um, skilled people, right? Relatively. People with specialized skill sets? They... What if one of the people who worked for you was evil and they were only doing good things because you were controlling them? He, tech, he lights a cigarette and takes a long drag on it. That's like a... He waves his hand like an ethical question. Yeah. I don't know what to tell you, kid. If... Give a sec. He is thinking. If they can't be changed and they do evil, then I think they should be stopped or made to stop. Did you find another lifeboat that didn't have any survivors? We found a few with no survivors, mostly shot up. Lab says the Chinese shot. made ammo. So I'm guessing that was our Yakuza friends. There were a couple of life rats riddled with bullet holes, but they weren't full. 
clearly some people have been taken off those boats. There was one was with just a horror show. I'm guessing that's Sigrid's work that it must have been. Was there one full of skeletons? There was one full of skeletons, yes. Um, but they were kind of all soggy. And when we tried to pull them on board, they melted. I'm pretty sure that's Myas's thing. We've had calls about that before. So, what now about the upcoming terror attack? Constant vigilance. Keep searching. It's only been two days. It's a big area down there. We're deploying all sorts of sonar, radar, lidar. Metadar. <laughs> LIDAR doesn't work underwater. Uh, rainbow laser. LIDAR. <laughs> I suspected it as I was saying it, though. <laughs> I forgot what I was just about to say. Bollocks. Um, what if, perhaps, um, the, um, the Nazi didn't make it, but he said that instead of summoning a demon, it was supposed to transport things. What if it did work, but on a delay? You think he... Can you search elsewhere? We can expand the radius for sure. More place to search means it might I... take longer though. No, I mean not in the immediate area. A completely different location. Where? I don't know. I'm just wondering if you can search elsewhere we can look elsewhere on the planet yeah but aside from that we're gonna be a bit stuck if they're in space would it work in space it's designed to be under immense pressure Probably not, but I don't know. I'm not a space scientist, dude. It were also designed to be airtight, I imagine. But once you take it out of that high pressure, it just spreads out everywhere like a blobfish. You poor blobfish. Rip in peace, blobfish. Hmm. If there's nothing else, perhaps I should go. Yeah. But I think you might be onto something there. You've given me something to think about. And he will. I hope you find it. He nods. Starts heading away. Chucks his noodle rubbish in the recycling. Uh, I think it's probably a good time for a break. I'm pretty thirsty. Agreed. Sure. Alright, we'll be right back in five minutes-ish. We are back. I always unmute myself first, so you never get to hear Colin say that thing. He, he said, said it at three now. seconds, though. Uh, so we were on a break. <laughs> uh, yeah, how much time goes by? Mm. 
in a few days. Or, or are we still in the meeting place? Oh no, uh, 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 Laura's here, so we probably shouldn't talk to you or her. Yeah, a couple days. <laughs> when do you do you set a time that you're all gonna meet up? Meet up for uh, what context? Exactly. Planning, but I don't think. <laughs> oh, sorry. Bless you. Um, I think we might just start doing. Do we want to plan our next steps, or are we at this point now where we're kind of off doing our own things a little bit? I, I, I think. I mean, we had we had talked about getting together after a couple of days. Yeah, just, definitely. Uh, debrief okay. and so we'll meet at the pharmacy okay the costume this time and uh or actually not in costume because we're still bugged we'll bring the costume <laughs> oh yeah we gotta we gotta get a bug sniffer why do we get together at Say the rank with no. Why do we get together at the rank or the pharmacy or either? Not in costume, but being on the down low. The whole point is to have the conversation. We don't invite people. That's right. Mm -hmm. Group meeting. Study hall. Or study yeah. group. Pharmacy. Study group meeting. I think so. That's uh, a pharmacy, yeah. This is as far as I got on that map, I believe. Well, it works. Yep. I mean, it's. It scales off, but whatever. Yeah, it's fine. Uh -huh. So, so Audrey doesn't actually show up. Her alter ego shows up instead. Where's this drugstore? I'm a bit confused. We got two locations. We have the ring and for our like above the board stuff, and then this is like our base of illegal operations. The um, uh, it's an old farm, broken down. I thought that was what the ring was for. The ring I did is too. The, I kept the... asking. Uh, the rec center that we want to make. Right, and also as place to meet up. I don't remember anything about this pharmacy. This is a, like a replacement for the garage. It was one of the two locations that were acquired from the Yakuza, and I believe Guy spent a night moving a bunch of stuff from the garage here. Yeah, the garage was compromised. <laughs> Gee spent the night Sigrid moving the stuff. Because <laughs> it was all heavy. But yeah. So this has the uh the all of the fabrication equipment. It's got the motorcycles. Um the I think uh, some of the stash are actual costumes here. Yeah. The uh the bathroom he's actually in the process of turning into a uh, dark room for Lily. Oh, hey. And uh, he's making things for other people, too. So it kind of uh, seems James, like... Uh, you're muted. You, you'll all notice that uh, the stuff that Sigurd's working on is is considerably more modern. She She nice. seems to be, like, actually figuring it out. Yes, she does. Like I, I managed out of game mechanically. I managed to buy off low TL. Very cool. World keeps moving. <laughs> You're on a boat again. This is where it's like for Lily when she's on a boat. <laughs> yep. Moving back into position constantly. Sorry about that. No problem. Not a problem. Mm -hmm. 
So. So, who else agrees that that was way above our heads? Yeah, that was kind of nuts. Yeah, that 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 got a little real really quick. Yeah. So, demons. Is that everybody's Talk first time? That. We're not fucking talking about that. Anything but that, please. What what you you all keep mentioning demon. I not see what you talking You were about. busy murder Ed, you were busy murdering people who were fleeing. You didn't see it. Uh, it tore the ship in half. With a whip. Oh, you mean that demon? Okay. Yeah. Also, Tara, you're really quiet. You were louder at the very start of the session, and you've been getting quieter. It just moving my mic around. She also, I've been mumbling more. Is that better? Yeah. Yeah. Um, she <laughs> mumbles, uh, oh, you meant that demon. Yeah. Well, on the plus side, they weren't trying to summon demons, so that's something. You don't accidentally just summon demons, sorry. Someone must have made them do this. I mean, it, it seemed like a desperation move to me. I think it worked. W what they were trying to do. It, he said it was um, to transport stuff. Mm -hmm. And they can't find the underwater facility or most of the ship. Didn't he also say that it was a receiver only? Mm -hmm. Well uh, then, also, Luke, why can't I, Secret Seth find anything? They moved? I don't know. If the base was mobile, it's possible they could have grabbed the ship's wreckage and brought it with them somewhere else to uh, to keep that very equipment from falling into anybody else's hands. For what it's worth, the German wasn't lying. How do a you know? quick question. More yep. yeah, it's in his head. Go on. Uh, teleporters are, are they rare in the world or is it more of common power? Pretty rare. Pretty rare? Pretty rare, yeah. Like, okay. All metahumans are relatively rare, but metahumans are especially rare. I mean, teleporters. Do you mean teleporter? <laughs> yep. So, like, is it, like, elemental powers and super strength and stuff are, like, the main things, but warpers are, like, super low on that? Yeah. Maybe 1% oh. of metahumans have got teleportation power. I think when it came up earlier, we realized that like the cops could easily just sort of look up the list of all the teleporters on Nirvana. Yeah. Uh, and, it would, and it wouldn't take them that long to get through the list. Do yeah. most teleporters, um, warpers have, um, does it work? Is it like a suicide power for them? Unclear. Like if they miss? Uh, the Star Trek teleporter Star problem. Trek. But you're basically committing suicide if... and... A... Oh... It's a new body every time. Yeah, that's the problem. But anyway, it makes. Uh, I just wanted that context for what I was about to say. It makes sense that they're trying to make teleporters. Like, we are far and few between. True. Very true. The Yakuza showed up before Secret Seth did. Yeah, they had more of an incentive, I think, and they uh, shot everyone, almost everyone, in the other escape boats. Well, that's not cool. Didn't you know, if someone them. did something like that, they would have to be punished, right, for s such an evil thing. Oh, for fuck's sake. We already talked to Sigrid. 
I don't think it'll Oh, happen. we talked to her. Because she thinks it's wrong or because she wants to kill more people in the future and thinks this is the best way to get to do that? You want to punish I, people. What do you want to do? I not want to want to kill anyone. I do what needs to be done. If you've got a fucking problem with that, then let's have it out right here, right now. But your what 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 they call it passive aggressive shit is getting old. You don't have to fight her directly, but you do have to say what you think needs to happen. Don't just suggest things, or hint at things, or try to tell us how we should feel and let us propose something. Propose something. She's an evil monster who needs to be frozen in ice again. So what, we just pass Thank her you. off to somebody else in 400 years and let them worry about it? Where's Myas? You don't freeze your problems, Matthias. You deal with them. She's my fucking friend. That's the way you deal with it, lucky us. He's gonna toss away this cigarette and start walking to him. What did you say? You said you, the problem needs to be dealt with. That's the way you deal with someone who is unkillable and evil. No, you don't. You actually have to deal with the issue, not just freeze it and put it away as if it was something to just get it out of your side, Matthias. She's a human being. I think you're starting to forget about that. Even if you're so, uh, there are the people in the different. escape boats. Yes, but still, she's still a kid. Is Not she? Sure if you realize about that. What did she do before, before she was frozen? Yes, but in her time, in her phase, that would have been suitable. Over here, things are different. And I think you're just taking too much of this modern judgment on her and just forgetting about where she came from. It looks like she stormed out. Audrey, follow Were you on the follow. escape boat when she started killing everyone on it? I wasn't, Matthias. But I think you're starting to take this a little bit too far. Everybody's at least noticing. And he's just going to follow up cigarette and she's disappeared. Key? I think you know where I fall. Um, I don't have any personal compunctions against killing, but I also see the advantage in, in not committing heinous crimes in order to prevent crime. So I'll, I've been willing to try it your way. Uh, Guy will walk over to where he, one of his machines and walk back with like the frame of a gun. He's like, Sigrid, I've been working on this for Sigrid. It's a, uh, it's going to be a, a shotgun lever action with an ax built into it. But, um, just like my grenade launcher, we're going to, to be able to load it with. Uh, less lethal rounds specifically for this reason. Um, Sigrid asked me to build this for her. This is... Um, I think this shows that she is making progress and adapting to the time period. But I think you also have to remember that Sigrid has only been in our world for, what is it, like a month? Five weeks? A little more than that, I think, but, yeah. Like, close to two months, I think, at this point, but... Okay. But yeah, it's a, a period of time that's measurable by weeks, not not by months. She's like, a fucking child soldier at that. Yeah. I, I think... I think she would do more... I think it's more important for us to show her the right way rather than to just condemn her without giving her a chance. 
Haven't we been doing that? Giving her a chance? Chances? Hasn't she cut down on the number of senseless murders? I mean, until we gave her the green light. With... No. No. Before last night, when we all agreed that that deadly force was on the table. When was the last time that Sigurd had killed somebody? Um, does a few hours earlier count? And that one's understandable. They were shooting at her. They were a threat to her. She was defending herself. I'm still willing to give her I'm still willing to give her time. She she's my friend and she's saved my life on several occasions at this point. What will you do if she kills another defenseless person who doesn't pose any threat? I mean, I, I, I think that there's this, uh, such a thing as context. And yeah, if I see her kill an innocent, I don't want to think about it. Instead, I want to move forward under the assumption that that we're going to see her improve. If there isn't, uh, if there isn't some, some sustained uh, changes, then you and I can revisit this conversation. But until then, I'm not going to play the what if game. She's my friend. She's been through a lot. And honestly, we're going to need her in the future. In but not future. me. You said you didn't know anything about me in the future. Implying that others you were aware of. Yeah, don't... Uh, don't take it personally, but... If I had... To but you need the dead, mass murderer to live. I don't need her because she's a mass murderer, but um, she is important to the to the changes to the timeline. Also, our physical reality is changing around us. Yeah, uh, I think it even changed before I got here. That that that's why I'm throwing in with you guys. Like this is not that was a meta joke. Okay. Oh, yeah, because of Luke's fidgeting. Uh, but yes, uh, I have even changed my own mission because of what I've seen when I've come back here. This, this Did you say that habitually? Different. Habitually? When you've come back here. You've done it before. No. But I knew I knew what to expect. I mean, I was well versed on the history of Nirvana. So having having you here is just one example. If I didn't know you from Nirvana's history, then my guess is you never actually came to Nirvana. It's possible that You know, in my in my past, you were, you know, alive and well and living in Germany still. Or I'm maybe they did. Whatever. He's from that part that Germany and France have been fighting about for hundreds of years. <laughs> so he just read the wrong history book. 
<laughs> the the one that a, a Porsche did to the wrong side. Lid, Lid, <laughs> did you stay listening to Guy and Matthias argue? Oh yeah, and she's been like staring at it the whole time, waiting for them to finish. Lucius, Audrey, you're chasing down Sigrid, who was doing. Uh, but, but, oh. before the chase down uh, scene. Uh, Lily's gonna add because it seems like they're kind of dying down over here. She's gonna be like, "Oh, and um, if you ever call her a monster in my presence again, we're gonna have fucking words." It's gonna go away, float out of the room. <laughs> You're gonna learn how to skydive real fast, because they're all monsters. They're all monsters. Yeah, that's the one. Matthias is getting justified by everything everyone else does. T talking about monsters. Uh, oh yeah, Mayas. I Mayas asked a while ago where he is. Mayas is trying to feed Big D. <laughs> okay. You still got Big D so, there. Yes. Yeah, so I have like a uh, hamburger, fries, uh, some dead rats. Uh, like a rotten arm. That Were he those got all in one Happy Meal? Yeah. <laughs> 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 and, and the little Big D in the ball there on top of the table is like, come on, man. Uh, you, you gotta eat something. It, it will eat. The meat based things. Barely. He don't, mm -hmm. he don't eat much. Uh, let me know which one's best. I, I have no idea. Uh, it seems to see, it seems to go for the rotting flesh most. Oh, okay. I guess <laughs> okay, that, easier. <laughs> samples all of them. And then, and then ends up settling on the rotting flesh. Also, aren't most hamburgers in Nirvana actually not hamburgers? No, yeah, they they would, unless you go to like a gourmet restaurant. It'd be the buffy double meat. Yeah, yeah, that's right. What a waste to turn precious beef into a hamburger, the few restaurants that serve cooked beef would say. Well, okay, so so you did not attend, Maya, so you were busy feeding Big D. Oh, uh, no, I, I think I did attend, but... I was doing that while they're having the argument. Okay, so Myos is here in the room then. <laughs> gotcha. No worries. So Big D is in the room. Big D is in the room. Also, is Rod there is his energy in the room? room? <laughs> yep. What did you say, Guy? There was also a rotting human arm. Did you say yeah. what rotting I human arm? Oh dear. Is it possible this is occurring like in the back room or around the corner? So that yeah, it so that completely didn't, didn't notice it makes, right away. This makes no sense. Like, totally, it could be there. Just people haven't noticed yet. But Sigrid, where did you storm off to? I I think Sigrid's just going for a walk before she murders Matias. <laughs> Oh, hey, justified. Like, I, I think she just, like, left. Audrey, uh, Lucius, she's not hard to catch up to. Mm -hmm. I think we're going for a walk. Yeah, I, I don't think Sigrid's got a whole lot to say right now, like... No, th th this isn't a talk-it-out walk. This is a... Walk with friends and don't talk about your problems. Walk. Yeah, right. e exactly. Just hanging out. Okay. 
Well, well, that meeting didn't go the way I wanted it to go, but um, I think I'm. I think we're. Are we going to come back? Lily Violet says, intends to come back eventually. I think Lily's caught up with you all. <laughs> well, that was a fucking train wreck. Uh, hey, would you? I have an idea in the next couple of days. Who wants to come with me to talk to a council member? Lucius raises an arm. I'll do it. What? She knows about me uh, already. And like, you know, she actually runs a constituents in the blocks. Um, and like she might be able to uh point us in the direction of actually doing some goddamn good down here instead of dealing with international drama where demons and almost getting us killed sure i think uh sigrid calls hannah Hey, what's up, babe? She shouts over, like, just deafening. In the background, and then she's like, Hey, shut the fuck up! Oh, food! Where, the, where are you at? Uh, it's like, it's this place up in North, North Kadampa. Band practice room. We went there on that bender we went on. I remember. I unway. Or I said, shut up! As just noise fills the phone again. Alrighty. Do you yeah, walk? I, I, okay, I think tram. Sigurd flips the deuces and just walks off. Alright. Hey, Red, if you need, ever need to talk, I'm here for you. As she's leaving. This is just waves. Goodbye. Yeah, no, I, I don't even think she looks over her shoulder at this point. She's yep. pretty upset right now. I think we should and, call this a night. And it needs a good scream session. <laughs> mm -hmm. Understandable. I think we should call mm -hmm. this a night. I'm going to talk to Guy about something, but like tensions are high again. Wait, what? I, we, we need to talk out the tensions. We might need to let things cool off a little bit, Audrey. She glares at you, first of all. She, you're, you're looking at Violet. Sorry, uh, Violet. All right, then. Step back, no bearing. Like, they're talking it out in there, and... The conversation they're having is pretty messed up, in my opinion, but, you know. If we all keep having problems and not dealing with it until we deal with the problems, we're just going to be a shit show. And everybody will hate each other. Nobody will have the same idea of what we want to accomplish. <laughs> and and eventually we're going to start shooting at each other. <laughs> Well, there seem to be no place for evil monsters, so I go see Look, Kana. You are literally like the fourth worst monster in the group. Like, he's just picking on you. You ever wish you weren't colorblind? No, because I would imagine <laughs> <laughs> you would have to be colorblind to wish not to. Mm -hmm. Just, just asking. What's up? No, no problem. Just unrelated. <laughs> what do you mean failed? Mumble. Well, like we could have this out, but mm. 
maybe we could do it better with uh, things have to spend a little bit of time to cool off. I really I mean, am done. It with doesn't this have to situation. be tonight, but sorry. Go on. No, I was done. Have a good night, Sigurd. I think Sigurd goes and screams into a mic. You got a pretty sick voice, babe. In the meantime, interim, could I have a quick chat with Gee? Yeah, I mean he's in there. I guess like straightening things up after the the meeting, since he basically lives here. Lucius walks home. He seems to be a little bit off. Okay. Hey, Guy. How you holding up? Thing that's ha existence is a thing that's happening to me. He'll like sit up on on one of the workbenches. Do you want to talk about it? I mean. Not particularly, but my therapist keeps telling me that I need to to face my trauma. Otherwise, it will keep. And she goes off into the whole <laughs> psycho babble thing. The psycho babble thing. Well, every time you think about it, or every time you talk about it, it's going to have a little less power over you. Uh, but I'll be honest, that scared the shit out of me too. The big red guy wasn't the problem. No. Fuck that. Small change. Guy in the glasses is the real problem. Nazi working in America? <laughs> He's far from the first. No. Guy in the glasses. No face. I don't I don't think I saw him. Didn't he? I thought everyone saw him. Was that while I was passed out? Yeah. Was while you were passed out? I think you might have recovered from faint just in time to see it. So why was that so much worse than a giant literal demon? Because that creature and the things that... Uh, are like him, killed hundreds of thousands of people. Oh, that was, that was one of the creatures from, God, I'm sorry, out of character. I don't remember the name of the big the event. Blight. Kansas. The Blight. Yeah. Kansas um, Blight. I didn't know that. How much do you remember? Uh, everything? I'm sorry. I mean, I knew I knew you'd lived through it, but um you know, obviously the the records aren't real clear on any sort of effects or or how it influenced your life. Whatever they touch legitimately turns to dust. Only thing that made it out of there alive was this one points to herself and goes, I get to live with it. Why did you one of them, One of them, she uh, traces down from her uh, the top of her uh, scar down across her eye and down the bottom. One of them laid a finger on me. And I was really scared and just want to get someplace safe. And the next thing I knew, I was on a beach. 
First time I ever teleported. You went a bit mumbly there again. Oh, sorry. The first time I ever teleported. It's also the farthest that you've teleported, isn't it? Yep. I guess fear and trauma will do that. How long ago was it? Um, I was like, what? We have a timeline. Yeah, but that could be difficult to look up at the minute and might not be accurate. It was eight-ish years ago, I think. Thereabouts. I thought you said up. you were on Nirvana when you were six earlier. Or something that... like that, yeah. So it must have no, been... No, I, might... I think it happened in 1987 or 1988, so 10 to 12 years ago. So Lily will have been 8 to 10 years old. So 10 years and nobody's seen one of these things since? No one saw one night. of those things to begin with, except for Lily. Who survived. But but the blight hasn't happened anywhere else, right? No. That could be important. They sucked up everything that was alive. Grass, squirrels, people, dogs, babies. She stares off in the distance a little bit. Who knows? Besides us and your moms. Therapists. That's it. I, uh, I don't know what to say. She just kind of shrugs and goes, welcome to my existence. It does explain the uh, self-medication. Which, the by the way, I'm sorry. And the actual medication. Oh, God, what do they have you on? Rattles around in her bags a bit. Look at all these medicines, man. I mean, it's probably only, it's probably only a couple pills, but she'll pot, toss a couple bottles. It's probably an antidepressant and, like, pan. Uh... Yeah, Guy, like, will look at the labels and, like, you should not be drinking on these... Like, at all. It's like, straight up lithium or something. <laughs> uh, it's 1999, it's for sure, like, Prozac and lithium. Yeah. Uh, you know, a couple of us has, have said something about the amount that you drink, and... Um... I don't know, like, now that I know that you're on medication, too, it... It seems like maybe, maybe we should talk about not ignoring the the problem. Like Only how way. much? How much do you drink in a day? I don't drink every day. When you do drink, do you have five or more drinks in one in one go? He will like look over at the empty bottle left over from the skating rink the previous day. Just does that non evasive look. Violet backing away from the grim PSA that this is becoming. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have so to it wouldn't play be this, five right? or more drinks because like she's a tiny girl, right? Yeah, she's like ninety five pounds. Yeah, yeah, no, she can keep up with Sigrid, and Sigrid's got super metabolism. No, like, five more drinks. 
this might be someone you say something you say to a guy but not to a 95 pound girl oh yeah i don't know maybe five or more drinks is just the threshold that they say for binge drinking but if the 95 pound girl says yes five or more drinks every time then if you or someone you know has been affected by this episode of upsilon transcending <laughs> then <laughs> please don't uh... hesitate to seek support and just seek support for your problems People want to help you. Is it this I, mean, kind of uh, special... <laughs> I didn't mean to go all special episode on this. But this is... <laughs> Would you go to a meeting with me if I went with you? Drugs. But for now, this is what I want to talk to you guys about. Like, we need to start dealing with problems we can deal with, and like, I feel like we need you. Uh, you to talk to or use your moral ambiguity to our benefit and have you talk to uh, um, the Yakuza about maybe the other more violent gangs in the territories. I could do that. Uh, there's a couple other things I've been wanting to talk to them about, so uh, I'll make an appointment. Cool. Anyway, uh, I need to eat something. It's been like two hours. Okay. <clears throat> There's probably some old pizza in that fridge over there. Otherwise, uh, so I'm going to go get a bug scanner and a bunch of other stuff. Um, have fun. Oh, a yeah. Lot? If you need some cash, there's a duffel bag. I, I don't need cash. Money. Okay. Oh, I mean, I won't say no to a duffel bag of money, though. Where? Well, <laughs> you, you, like, gesture over to, a, to a, like, a locking toolbox. That looks like a lot of work. All right. <laughs> You're getting a what? A bug scanner. Garth uh, Bugdar armor. Well, I mean, it was on my list before then, anyway. Ah. But yeah. When did he? When did you find out? Um. When we were handing over the Nazi. I think he's being sarcastic. Oh. No, oh, I yeah, forgot that there. he told us then. Yeah. I I've. I, I was referring to how they hadn't told him anything about the other conversation. Oh, correct. I forgot that was mentioned earlier. Whoop. Willy dis Willy Willy disappears. Root row. Cock pirates. Is it's Willy free now? Not Willy. No. I watched that film at least ten times between the ages of three and five, and I have no memory of it whatsoever, except for it jumps over a kid. Yeah, yeah, that's actually all I remember too. I remember quite a bit, but I have a, I remember every movie ever because I yeah. I'm sure if I started watching it I would like remember plot points right before they happened. But, but yeah, I'd be twitching and it'd be like, Oh, you unzip me. Oh, I don't like to think about it. Oh, you unzip me. Yes. But yes, Lily so, disappeared. So I guess the big thing I wanted to talk to everybody about was I'm going to be Violet when we're doing these kinds of things. So. That's fair. It's, 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 it's become increasingly clear that divides between the alter ego. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. So, yeah. Give me a single this, check. This is going to be me. Oh, you did? Down here. <laughs> okay, another out of character thing. I don't remember her discussing multiple personality stuff either. She's not, but she has um, changed her appearance rather than donning a mask. Mm hmm. So just when she okay. looks that way, we, we refer to her by the name Violet. 
isn't that a bit dangerous in terms of like code names and stuff? She's going to be looking like this when we're referring to each other by the code names. Just more protection. This is Violet, mm -hmm. but it's Audrey. But this is Violet. So only call this person Violet. And Luke, by the way, I just looked it up. The uh, blight is uh, July 3rd through um, December 4th, uh, 88. Okay, that does 90. sound like it were updated for 99 rather than 94 being the present day as well. I think so. But that's just what's on the timeline. So yeah, Lily would have been 7 to 8-ish. Sorry for not being clear. I, I meant to actually say that in character. Like, she announced the room of just the two to three people left. <laughs> there was meant to be some sarcasm of, I was going to talk to the group, but... So, sorry, I wasn't clear. Um, sorry. Out of character, in character, Luke left because he was put off by Mathia, saying that the group had no room for monsters after we were all considering him one. Totally. Uh, did you just go home, Lucius? No, he just went back home and he just went walking because he's trying to get more fit, but that's just off, uh, nothing more for him, like, just out of characters. Uh, uh, I'm so angry. Glutes. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm kind of losing steam. I have got other stuff set up. It would involve fights and... Maybe people together. I could carry on a bit longer, though. How do people feel? We, I, we could I'm just good. do this quick. I'm good. We could do this quick chats if we wanted to. With if people our... have got an I... initiative, I can react. Yeah, cool. I don't know that I want to lead into any combat at this late in the game. Yeah, we're here. It's eight. eight. I, I, I lean towards this. If anybody has chats or non combat things that they want to do. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, mean, I want to take Violet and uh, Lucius to talk to the diplomat. And I'll see if I can get in to see the uh, Yakuza boss. So, shall we say after this session, there'll be a one week time skip? Sure. Or, no, just a few days. We'll take it to this weekend. The meeting with the team, Garth, gets set up for Sunday afternoon. Yeah, perfect. That works. And that'll give us, like, exactly, I think, seven days of downtime between um, the three-day weekend and then uh, this. Cool. Nice. The, uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, any uh, conversations you want to have, we can assume to occur fairly quickly. Well, yeah, if the Yakuza boss will let me in. Yeah, he will want to talk to you pretty soon. He's happy to talk to you. Um, I'll show up in civilian clothes this time. You get let straight in this time. They were waiting for you. I'll bow, but not super low. Mm-hmm. Uh, thanks for uh, your support. I'm sorry, there wasn't a whole lot left for you to do. Uh, we were sort of caught up in events. There was not much there when we arrived. We came under attack from lifeboats. We defended ourselves. Yeah, that's kind of what I wanted to talk to you about. Uh, people fleeing sinking ships don't usually have heavy weapons and aren't prone to uh, fire upon people coming to rescue them. Did you really have to slaughter them all? We did not slaughter them all. We took several captive. Get anything interesting out of them? Some of them think that the boat is gone. Uh, it is. 
moved. Uh, we sank it, but uh, nobody's been able to find the, the wreckage. Hmm. How did they think it was moved? They seem to believe it has some kind of occult-powered transportation device aboard. Ah, uh, yeah, saw that in action. They uh, speculate wildly about what could be on the undersea base. Nothing, nothing good. They did tell you about the base. That's good. I was going to mention that to you. I uh, can't find that either. So it's either mobile or, uh, you know, it has some sort of some sort of passive protection, camouflage or cloaking. We at least know it's uh, made of several modules scattered over a large area. Uh, are they connected to each other? Not directly. It seems they have a way of moving small things between them quickly. Huh. The divers that go down there apparently have to spend hours at the bottom depressurizing and repressurizing. And they wear hard exosuits. So we're talking super deep. Well, I'll pass that along and see if it bears any fruit. You get anything else good? Who are you passing this along to? Doesn't matter. Yes, you could be giving a mole information that we have. Yeah, he'll chuckle. Um, I'm not giving you any names. You'll have to take me on my word that he is the last person in the world to be a mole. Or to have one in his group. Nobody directly connected to the government. And the last person in the world you'd want to betray. Someone starts mumbling something in Japanese at him, but he holds his hand up and he says, I trust you for now. That's all I can ask. Um... Allow me to to build on that trust. We've come to the realization that threats on that scale might be a little bit beyond our uh, abilities right now. So we were hoping to um, maybe get some information from you about potential rivals here on Nirvana. Um, people that are doing harm to the community in different ways so that we might um, improve our skills uh, with some direct action against them. Anybody come to mind? Mm. There are a few groups that I know of that have given us a lot of trouble. I'm listening. One seems to call themselves Poison Pill. They've got access to cyberware. High grade. We don't know where they get it from. Highly illegal stuff. Lots of hackers. Digital ecstasy. I know the type. <laughs> this is le legitimately the type of graft that he is probably most familiar with. <sighs> mm. And then there's another group. <clears throat> don't know if they call themselves anything but it's a, a real rich guy someone who made a killing in the free economic zone and what he's 
expanding operations that overlap with some of yours. He was born in the blocks. And we don't like his behavior towards the Japanese in particular. And we want to say humans. It's got to be a word hmm. for uh, meta. Yeah, he's a meta human supremacist. That could be right up our alley. Well, if anything else uh, comes to mind, please think about my friends and I, as uh, I do feel like we still have some uh, amends to make for our prior conflicts. Mm -hmm. Very well. And just so we're clear, um, if if anybody who happens to work for you is is also actively harming Nirvana, they could be fair game in the future. But I think we're working towards a common goal. If you suspect any of my clan, I would ask that you speak to me immediately. Done. Thank you for your time and your understanding. And thank you. Despite your misgivings, I feel your operation was a great success. Despite the rumors those captured had before they expired. I I think a success was won here. And any plans for attack they may have had have been harmed severely. Good day. Yeah, my gut's telling me that too. And Gia leave. Cure. Um... Somewhere else, there is a conversation happening uh, with a politician. Uh, it's a very quick meeting, um, and it's at her office in Parliament. Should I get Glares on the way in again? Ooh, Glares. Are you using the door? <laughs> I mean... Okay, if we had a meeting time, I'm not using the damn door. Um, yeah, no, the, she probably told you actually not to meet her at her office, but like at a, a cafe that's on that floor or something, or nearby. Okay, probably nearby. Who was coming? Lucius and... Oh, Violet. Uh, whichever personality, yeah, Violet. Lucius and Violet. Uh, there's quite a few people stood around her, uh, entourage types. They're all holding very fancy data pads, brand new laptops and phones. Uh, they're all filming her as well, it seems like. you've Advertisements are limited in Nirvana. For in the free economic zone, you see some, and it seems like there's this really expensive but really fancy new data pad thing that's been selling out like crazy and they're all old in these and Marcella in particular is talking right at one. Oh, like uh hi guys welcome so i've not got long but you wanted to talk to me mm -hmm. look around at her entourage and say do we have a little bit of privacy like you guys go go get yourselves some drinks or something. And she, like, turns off the device that she's holding and puts it down. And they walk away, and it's a bit more private. Like, In a very what's... hushed voice. Um, so, what did Morrison tell you? Like, Morrison doesn't tell any of us much but like 
You're working for him? Aren't you guys kind of young? To be doing like the kind of things that he does? The, the little bit hand sign? <laughs> Well, like, so you, you want to help out in, did I say, I've said like 10 different places probably now. Uh, you. North Tashidelic, of... was that what I said? I think so. Or Maylong, or, so I think it's North Tashidelic blocks that overlap with the, um, Yakuza's. Like. I represent a growing number of people and like I know I come off like this ah, I've actually I made a token for her but she doesn't look that amazing she's not as I imagine her I couldn't get it perfect describe her because there's not an Akabara style made outfit available on uh, Hero 4 G. oh okay but that classic Akbar. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so the the Japanese kind of hesitate to say otaku style became popular in Nirvana rather than Japan in the eighties. Unfortunately, Japan was occupied by fascist aggressors, um, but there were lots of refugees to Nirvana, and culture progressed and thrived. And she is a famous blogger like the internet is booming on nirvana um one of the social policies is that you can get a very cheap computer and access to the internet to your home and as just like something you get yeah and so marcella is like pioneering social media and has you know just about half of everyone on nirvana follows her okay so, like, yeah, we're working with Morrison to, you know, help things out on the island that are problems, you know, that maybe certain individuals can't take care of themselves. So I was, like, thinking maybe we could work together and you could uh, help us find the problems. Like, there's problems in my constituency. I don't know where they're coming from, but people are suffering. You should definitely check out the lowest blocks in North Tashi. I can make sure, like, there are times when you won't be bothered or like when you'll have more free reign to get away with things without surf being called that would be that would be handy but like I need to know things are going to go okay like I can't have people dying in my area like, I think people are dying already, and, like, I need it to stop, and that doesn't mean more people dying. We'll do everything we can. And she starts digging around in her purse and pulls out one of her cell phones. There's, like, growing support online for something more serious in the way of Nirvana defense. And a way of dealing with people who might be dangerous but there's also a growing opposition movement that i'm seeing and i'm a bit worried about it and i think you guys should also like you have computers obviously right you follow me do i sure you probably do um like yeah like well great but yeah let me send you guys a link like i'll dm you or whatever And you should check out these websites that I'm worried about. I'll write them down. Or she'll DM them. Uh, I'm going to slide her They're part of this phone. web ring? <laughs> yes. 
I'll uh, slide her one of the cell of the cell phone I pulled out and be like, "Listen, there's one other number attached on there, and like, if you need to contact us or we need to get some alone time down there, this is how we'll be contacted." Okay, like, can we text on this? Better not to text calls. Well, like, I'll try and keep it near me. I usually have people around me, so I won't be able to say anything too specific straight away. But, like, if you just tell me if you can give me, like, even ten minutes notice, that would be great. Alright, I'll keep that in mind. And then there's, like, one of the entourage members is kind of stepping forward. Holding a clipboard in one hand and a data pad in another hand. It's like, ah, uh, Marcy, we totally need to go. She's like, sorry, you guys. I'll, I'll, let, I'll DM you later. Nod. And then they stand up in the entourage, uh, hustling away. Lucius, did you want to add anything first, or were you just here to observe? I don't have anything to ask so far. Nothing seems suspicious. Or could I at least attack lies? Uh, you may roll it. Oh, I forgot to ask if any minus. No minus. She seems to be telling the truth. Then I have nothing to add if she's being honest. Cool. Alright, that like went better than I thought. Who wants to go get some of those things? Because they're amazing. Points to the data pad. No. I'd like to get one. He looks a little bit curious as to it. A little bit jealous that all the people uh, holding this pretty cool data pad. Sure. They do look pretty neat. I think I could tell you how much they cost. <laughs> Don't tell him. You're yeah. going to break his heart. <laughs> is that in thousands well that's like the fanciest one you can get I suppose <laughs> holy crap uh, was there a number attached to that exclamation or uh, is holy crap the price cell phone expensive tiny computer genius <laughs> data pad, small radio. Uh, I mean, they, they probably don't have genius computers in most. Things. No, no. Yeah, genius don't. computers are insane. What is the times modifier? 500. Times five hundred. Okay. Yeah, the the next lower is times twenty. Okay, so much lower. But still, like over a thousand Nova for sure. For even oh, easily. Yeah. For even something not very good at all. <laughs> something that can run Doom. It could run Doom. Lily's totally buying one. And obviously you can spend up to 100k to get one with Genius on it. <laughs> oh yeah, I will do that in between sessions. Thank uh, you, Luke. No worries. Um, Myas, any other scenes you wanted to partake in? Uh, I think Myas will... We'll go to the Dunning Tower. Okay. Uh, probably ask Lily if they have someone that can uh, look at the, the the computer thing that was controlling Big D. Uh, maybe. How secretive does this need to be? And uh, he, he, I think he'll leave it there for in hopes that someone figures something out. Uh, how secretive does it need to be? Not much. Okay. Mom, I have a weird thing I need someone to look at. Yeah, that works. Uh, what is it, Lily? Ew, what is that? Uh, it, it, I think so computer thing that was uh, controlling the big D and he pulls out big D from the pocket I don't think this would f f fit in there Myers. 
Uh, yeah, he was uh, way bigger at the time. What is that? Like this big. It looks like one of the, one of the neck growths. Uh, it, it is not one of the neck growths. Uh, he can, uh, communicate with them. Why did you? Uh, is it safe? She Aunt was... Akko made it before she turned out to be a spy. Tina is a spy. What? Yeah, she, she was the one who was controlling Big D. No one's told me this. I've tried ringing her a few times. I... Y yes. Can I... Can I take them both? Uh, okay, but I'll, I'll come to visit. Uh... Yeah... Yeah, I suppose that's fine. All right. Right. Well. Well. Shit. Be behave. Don't. Don't wait anyone alive. Kinda uh, jiggles a bit as he gets passed over. They're they're gonna try to figure out how to, you know, get your voice back. He, I think he prefers to eat a uh, rotten flesh human. Uh, oh my god. I'll, I'll synthesize an alternative. I mean, don't we have all kinds of biohazard stuff in here? Uh, I, uh, I'll have legal drafted release forms so that people can donate their flesh. Bet you never expected to say that sentence out loud. <laughs> <laughs> say, Big D, they're gonna get you food. Jiggles excitedly. <laughs> Matthias, any scenes in particular? Not really. Okay. Lucius, any other scenes in particular? Not this week. Uh, Sigrid. Uh, I mean, I think she's mostly just hanging out with Hannah and avoiding everybody else. Okay. Well. Yeah, I think that's about good. I've not even got much of a post credit scene in me. I'm trying to think of one. Don't you don't have to. This is a this is just a we just finished a big big damn arc. Let's Something might come chill to chill out. Um we had in any kind of old order Terra. Hey, I'm Terra <coughs> Sorry. I'm Terra. I played Lily and uh she had the very special episode today. Mm, it was a very special episode today. <laughs> Remember kids, don't mix antidepressants with alcohol. Seriously, don't do it. Yeah, no, it's... Yeah, it's bad news. Mm -hmm. We had James. Hey, I'm James. Played Sigurd. GG. We had Lee. Hi, I'm Lee. I play Audrey, and she's getting frustrated about lack of communication. Lee enjoys it, though. Sounds like, just <laughs> right. Sounds like my real life, but no, it is, it is more enjoyable in this. We had Z-Warrior. Hey, I'm the warrior. I play Myos Skeleton. Skeleton. And, uh, didn't, didn't explode anyone today. No, you didn't. Good boy. Good skeleton. We had Jared. Hey, I'm Jared. I play Matthias. Um, he thinks killing is bad. <laughs> Such a radical <laughs> statement to make. <laughs> what an outlier. <laughs> we had Everoth. Hello, I was never up playing 2D Lucius. Uh, not doing much more than smoke and complain this, uh, this time around. Uh huh. But you've got a hot girlfriend who's into some real kinky shit, bro. I'm jealous of Lucius. 
He's the <laughs> luckiest ever. Um, finally, we had Colin. Hi, I'm Colin. I played Guy, and I'm taking Dilly to an AA meeting. <laughs> well, also, we had me. I'm Luke. I'm the GM. Um, I'm sleepy today. I'm sorry. Also, I wanted to see kind of what directions you were all looking at, but no, this is fine. I, I can just start throwing stuff at you again soon. And I know <laughs> what it's going to be. And post credits scene is smoking a cigar. You can tell that much. It's dimly lit room. It glows a bit. You can see he's got scales all over his skin. He is huge, a beast of a man sat in a penthouse. He's looking upon two complete freaks. Uh, that's rude, but it's the only way to describe them. They are troll ogre people. Metahuman alterations, but also body modification to make themselves even more horrific. Lizard gator people is how they seem to be going for. Between both their hands, the old, the limp, almost lifeless body of some young man. And the guy with the cigar says, You're weak, that's your problem. Get rid of him, lads. And they drag him over to the window and throw him over the edge. And cut to black as he connects with the car. I wanted to say Matthias's car, but that would have been really rude. <laughs> yeah. It's just a random post truck going by or something. <laughs> and with a Cobalt Cafe, you can catch us just about everywhere at Cobalt Cafe, Patreon, Twitter, Twitch, YouTube. We've got a website, thecoboldcafe.com, and we'll be back. Possibly, probably Sunday and Thursday and Friday again with this. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.